is up, y'all? Welcome back to FMT. It's your goddamn boy. We got BMO in this bitch. What up, B? What up? We got Trev in this motherfucker. What up, Trev? What up, Trev? What's up? What's up? <laughs> That's different. different. What up, boys? Intro. What up? Chilling. What up? How are you? Chilling, killing. Chilling, Good, killing. Great. We're in this bitch, dog. Yeah. Episode 78. 78. 78, dude. Damn, bro, it's 2222 two, two, two right now. 2222. Two, two, two. You know how many fucking posts and shit I've seen about that today? No, no. What What do you mean? Oh, 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 oh. Because. The fucking date? You're right, right, right. Say it really? No same. shit. Yeah. What does that mean? What is that? Oh, shit. It's two, does two, it mean two. anything? No. no. Does we, it just mean what you make it? It means that it's in February 2nd. Uh, do you, are you much for a believer in like the 1111 thing? I am. Sorry. You are. Yeah. That didn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you know, are, are you are you a superstitious superstitious type of guy? No, nah, dude. But eleven eleven means something to me. No, does it really? Yes. Okay, nah. like yes. kind of or like a lot. Like, <laughs> what is it? What is it? Huh? Like, is it kind of like just a little bit? Yeah, they know who I'm. Ta- they know who I'm talking about. Somebody out there. Oh, somebody, oh. Out there. <laughs> somebody out there. Somebody out there. Somebody's got my boy's heart. Okay, okay, okay. You shoddy? Ex nah, shoddy. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. Neither. Neither. Okay, all right. I do. <laughs> no. Okay. Maybe. Okay, maybe, maybe. <laughs> How's your Nothing. weekend? Nothing. Uh <laughs> bro, it's all right. It's all right. Um, <laughs> it was good. Yeah? Yeah. Have a good weekend. I went and um watched some bull riding. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, dude. Bowl riding. A little square dancing afterwards. You got a little bit of hick in your heart, huh? I got cows in my front yard, Yeah, dude. You're, you're a little <laughs> bit of a cowboy. <laughs> you're a little bit of a cowboy, huh? Uh, like, not really, no, but like, no. but like, I feel like it's in there somewhere. I fuck with the lifestyle. You fucked a cowboy before? No. Nah, you just got bro. a little bit of it in you still? I'm a cowboy, dude. Back in the day, I was. Got it, got it. Like, I like the, like, I don't know. I like rap music, but I like like the lifestyle. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah, yeah. No shit. Yeah, like homebodies. I mean, they care about each other. <laughs> like fuck with family. You know what I mean? Well, okay, 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 okay. So like that, the like country, country, country lifestyle. Yeah, but like their home, like right, is they're like super family oriented. Yeah, yeah, and, like, yeah. You're just like I just like that they stay home all the time. That's kinda, all. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> I fuck with it, dude. Like they, I don't know. They just have like. Oh, it's weird. Anything wild happened at the fucking uh, at the bull riding fucking contest? <laughs> no, dude. It was probably some of the shittiest bull riding I've ever seen in my life. Is like I good? can't do better, but it was fucking ass. Is there good and bad? Is that even a thing? You're on a fucking yeah. bull, dude. Yeah, but when you can't fucking ride it for eight seconds, it's like boring to watch. And Got like the it. bulls were coming out and just like not bucking. They were just like sitting down. Motherfuckers are scared, dude. <laughs> it was fucking lame as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, my weekend was all right. Um, I didn't do too much this weekend. I did get to go to brunch with my girl, just her and I. What the fuck is brunch, guys? Uh, the meal between breakfast and lunch. Why though? Why though? You know what I mean? Like why? Some people in this world get up at like five o'clock in the fucking morning for no reason. Well, that's me. But that's me. But that's why you go to breakfast. But it just makes no sense to go to brunch. You know what I mean? But the restaurant we went to was a super nice restaurant where you don't really have very many options and they only serve like four things on the menu for certain times of day. They have their breakfast, they got their brunch, lunch, dinner. Um, and it was dope though. It was fucking dope. I love going to different restaurants. I love I love that shit. I thought like with brunch when I'm like hungover. Really? Well, yeah, because I'm obviously not going to get out of bed yeah. early but like still want some fucking French toast. Want some fucking French toast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I go to a fucking brunch, have a fucking slice of French toast and a beer. <laughs> you know, try to shake it off. Do you have you ever been the type of person that uh drinks bloody marys when you go to breakfast? Yeah, I will. Really? Yeah, yeah. I've I've always thought they look fire. I've always thought they look so good, oh, but I've never actually done it. Oh, oh you'll probably think they're ass. Oh really? You no gotta shit. like you gotta like tomato juice. Oh, I do, I do, definitely. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you probably like them then, especially like spicy tomato juice. Mm. Oh, spicy bloody Mar- margarita would be pretty good, but not margarita. Uh, bloody, bloody Mary. Mary. Um, it depends though, dude, because a lot of places fucking like just over like I don't know. I feel like a lot of places fuck them, yeah. fuck them up. Like, and, and also like it seems like a lot of places just 
stack it full of shit stacked well, on top of it. Is. Yeah. yeah, I don't. That seems a little much for me. I'm OCD, dog. Oh, I eat all of it. But when like people put, like too much like pepper and shit in it, it's just like all you taste is like right, pepper. right, right, so right. I kind of right. ass. Hmm. I should but, give it a shot. You think? Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. fuck with the spicy ones though, but I don't fuck with spicy shit. I have a question for you guys. My girl made fun of me today. We're we're going to fucking going to the grocery store, and I'm like, hey, I, I was gonna schedule myself a manicure. Do you want me to schedule you one as well for Friday, or we can go Saturday? I know you're trying to do something with your nails right now. I don't know if you can do that. Whatever. Manicures are hands, yeah. Yeah, manicures yeah, are hands. Yeah. yeah. Um, pedicures are feet. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And she thought I was joking. She thought I was kidding. I was like, no, what the fuck? No, I'm being serious. I'm being serious. I'm trying to have some fucking nice hand. My hands are kind of fucked up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And she gave me hella shit for it. Even though like, usually she wouldn't. I didn't expect it from her at all. I thought she was joking. And I was like, is she serious? Like, is she, like she was fucking acting like that was bitch shit. And she's like, I like when you have rough hands. Well, I fucking don't. Mm. <laughs> like, it's fine. It's whatever. I'm not really worried about my hands, more my fingernails. And I was like, if I get a manicure, that means I can just pleasure you better with my fucking hands because now my hands are perfect. My nails are perfect. I get worried about that kind of shit. When I'm like fucking around, finger my girl or something, like, like really, like, especially the big one. The big one for me is a G spot. I feel like I'm going to hurt her, dude. If my nails aren't perfectly trimmed or something. Yeah. No, I get what you mean, though. You know the worst part? Like, um, so dudes think, like, oh, I better cut my fingernails to, like, finger this chick or she's coming oh, over no, or whatever, it's dude. Dangerous. As soon as you cut your fingernails, that's There's, when they're the sharpest. That's when they're bro. the sharpest, dude. Yeah. You got to grind those motherfuckers down. Found that shit out a time or two. Right. And I get worried. And my big, my big concern beyond that is, like, okay, yeah, my hands are always pretty clean. Like, my fingernails are always really clean. My hands are really clean. Yeah. Um, but like, I'm not washing my hands before sex. Most why? Why the fuck would I? Why the fuck would I? So my fingernails are dirty or whatever. Dirt bag. You're not washing your hands before sex. <laughs> Dirt bag. <laughs> yeah, I do. It, <laughs> she starts talking about it. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Happy birthday to <laughs> you. <laughs> Do you sing happy birthday when you wash your hands? I do. I do. No. I swear to God, dude. Bro, no. I swear I, I sing happy birthday every fucking time, dude. <laughs> I learned that from the doctors. I got shown how to properly wash my hand by a doctor. <laughs> yeah, me too. And they put my hands under a fucking blue light. Oh. Yeah. And I was like, oh, fuck. Okay. The first they made us go in. All right, we got to do it. It was like a hand washing test. You know what I mean? This was at a job uh, when I was taking care of people way back in the fucking day. And I would go wash your hands. We're going to show you to probably wash your hands. Go wash your hands first. We didn't know anything about the black light, blue light or whatever. Go wash our hands real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Come back out. She's like, all right, hold your hands out. We're like, what? She brings out the fucking blue light. Everybody's hands filthy as fuck. She's like, so these are how you're touching clients or residents. Yeah. And I was like, I'm like, I'm worried about the motherfucker touching me. I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey, I mean, we did the best we could. So yeah. we got a whole fucking lesson on how to wash our hands. Gotcha. How do you feel about, do you, do you get concerned with that shit? Do you get concerned with your fucking nails when you go to finger a girl? No. Nah, you don't. Really? Okay. Unless okay. I just cut them. Cause I know that shit fucking hurts. Right. Right. It's told. my main concern every time. Cause I just feel like it hurts. I mean, I don't know. Even if my nails are short, I, I just feel like it fucking hurts. I don't really try to use, like, the tip of my finger, though. No, I mean, neither. Me neither. But I feel like you can't really, like, help it if you're trying to hit the G-spot. Right? You kind kind of. But for me, I, I really feel like that. Like, regardless, you're, you're, regardless, your yeah. fucking fingers are up inside of there. You know what I mean? <laughs> your nails are hitting something, regardless. You got some long-ass fingers, though. I do, you kind of. You scary-ass fingers, dude. Do I? Some Freddy Krueger motherfuckers over here, dude. What? Hold them. Hold them up. Hold them. Hold them up. Like how big your hand is compared to mine? Oh, what? My hands are... Are my fingers long? I don't know. I don't know if that was like level. Oh, though. okay. Level it out. Level it out. Yeah, you got some big ass hands. Why? Or I got little ass hands. Do I really have big hands? I thought I had bitch ass hands. I probably got little ass hands to be honest. I, I feel like I got little ass hands. 
yeah, let's go with you have little hands because I don't want to feel like a fucking freak over here, dog. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no wonder you're hurting your girl. What the fuck? <laughs> so he says, stop fucking me and just finger me again. <laughs> <laughs> Two fingers is better than your dick. Let's Dude, be real. Speaking of washing shit, though, I don't know why I like thought of this the other day or got brought to my attention. Somebody said something about some shit and I was like, what the fuck? I didn't even think about this. Dude, who legitimately like washes their belly button? Nobody. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect segue, though. Speaking of belly buttons, do you guys remember on the last episode or the episode before? I believe it, I'm almost positive the last episode. We were discussing the Mormon pussy. Yeah. Which oh I was saying was the <laughs> asshole. Yeah. We had a listener reach out to us. She said that is that is the Mormon pussy, but but the big thing is you're not allowed to come. That's the thing. That's like that's like one of the biggest things about the whole Mormon shit. They do a bunch of weird shit called Who can't come? Mormons. They cannot come. They're not allowed to them? fuck no. They are not allowed to come. The dude can't come. No. Ever. Period. Never. Until you're married. Bro. Period. Okay, but no, it gets way worse, Bimo. It gets way Can you, fun. like, jerk off? No. No jerking off, no nothing. <laughs> you motherfucker's lying, bro. What kind of fucking, what kind of no. satanic-ass fucking religion is that, bro? Right? The right? Fuck? It's like, you're going to deny me my right? That's yeah. my dick. That's my right. Okay, check it out, though. Uh, I think it's I pulled... Big long one? I think it... No, no, no. I think it was the very first one at the very, very top, Trev, right? No, because this is... Fuck. Okay, I'll is. just read it off then. I'll read it off. No biggie. I, I thought I added it, but I guess not. I wouldn't even want to fuck with nobody and then be like, yeah, let me get some blue balls. You know what I mean? You know dude. what I've always... Dude, females try to tell me that blue balls is not fucking real. Oh, oh, well, oh well, it is, though. Oh, well, it fucking is. No, it's it real as shit. Okay, but like, I'll, like, I was having sex, right? But I just didn't finish. Right. And then it's like, I didn't get blue balls. So now like, oh, you don't even, blue bars aren't even real. You didn't even finish. No. I'm like, it's so different. It, completely different. Yeah. Completely different. I mean, and it hurts. It's not like sharp pain. It's not like that. It's like, how would you describe the pain to be? <laughs> dude, I like, like swollen pain. Yeah, it's like getting kicked yeah. in the balls. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah, you're right. Exactly. So listen to Reach Out said, just watch this week's episode. And I think the belly button is the Mormon pussy. My mind was blown after watching this highlight. Also, so cool that you guys had a sponsor, blah, blah, blah. I ordered some for my husband. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the fucking podcast. Thank you for supporting Cloud Cleats. We fuck with you. Thank you for fucking with us. Anyways, so this thread, I'll just read off a few of these, a few of these fucking story threads that she sent me. And, uh... One of which is, it's a Mormon thing. People are wait, who are waiting for marriage to have sex have a weird block about getting a gynecological exam as well. I know I did. It's almost part of the remain a virgin vibe. They don't even want to get a fucking... They don't want to go to the gynecologist because they feel like that is invasive to their fucking pussy. Is that called a pap smear? I think so. Oh, we're idiots. I can't believe we don't know this. But I think I think it is. Why the fuck would I know what a vagina is? We should called? know. We should fucking know we're adults. I think it's a pap smear. Um, also, a lot of them don't use fucking tampons. And that's like, they think that's wrong. Huh. That's but, so crazy. So this is from a doctor. I've had one patient who was under the impression that the belly button was for sex. And three who didn't know their urethra was different from their vagina. And one who had been giving her husband her oral contraceptive pill, thinking they were each supposed to take one daily. You shouldn't be having sex. You shouldn't be having sex at that point. How could you not educate yourself a little bit? God damn. You guys were right about the pap smear. Cool. Hell yeah. But yeah, dude. Mormons fucking the belly button. They got chicks coming in there with their belly button. You can't. You can't. You can't. How does that work? You, it doesn't. Okay, so there's another thing. Just the there's another thing within Mormonism as well called soaking. Why are we talking about Mormons, bro? I don't know. <laughs> we, the listener reached out. We had to address it. God. Bro, this shit's crazy. So because you can't come, because you're not allowed to really even have sex, you can't. you shouldn't be thrusting either or anything like that. They just put their dick in and just lay there. And do nothing else. <laughs> That's kind of hot, though. To, for so me, so you just like get hard, stick your dick in the vagina, and just like wait till and, it goes and limp, and then just don't move. Yeah, mm -hmm. just don't move. My dick would instantly go limp. There's another thing. There's another thing as well. 
you have a friend with you. You have the dude and the chick. Put your dick in. Don't move. The friend gets under the bed and starts pushing up on the underside of the fucking bed. So then you're not thrusting. You're not fucking. She's fucking for you. <laughs> she or he. Yeah. Dude, these, these Mormons are dude, elaborate as fuck. Dude, dude. The Mormons got it all figured out, dude. Yeah. Why wouldn't he just like come up to the dude and just like. Right. Just grab his <laughs> hips, motherfucker. Like, why you got to go into the bed and do all that shit? Oh, dude? I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's but like a gym session and you're helping your buddy out. dude. Man, dude. What a rough life. What a rough fucking life. That sounds like a good life. No, no. I could fuck and my friend thrust, thrust for me. <laughs> yeah. Dude, imagine being 31, 35 years old. And be like, yeah, I've never came onto my life. Your first fucking nut better be nut. I don't dude, even your, know. your first nut, you're going to die. Dude. You're probably going to have a heart attack, dude. I to feel be like honest. you have the nut. Eventually, your body is going to force you to. Okay, but what about this? I, When I was younger, when I was younger, I just really, maybe I've talked about it on here before, but what better time? I'm going to embarrass myself right now. When I was younger, I had this issue. I'd beat off in my sleep all the time. Oh, all yeah, the fucking this. time, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we talked about this. That's right, that's right, that's right. If you're not coming, your body's going to force that out. You're going to beat off in your sleep. Unconscious. What then? I don't Fucking know. what then? What do you do? I don't know. I thought it was like maybe like bad, you know? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Does your body recycle the fucking sperm, dude? Yeah, no, I, I mean, you can definitely, there's a lot of benefits. People try to say you shouldn't come at all. You should come like once a month, if not less than that. Because of certain reasons, blah, 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 super spiritual people like that, whatever. I'm sure there are some benefits. Hmm. But your whole life, probably not good. <gasps> speaking of coming. Yeah, speaking of coming. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. I just <laughs> uh, we got those clap cleats this weekend. I called you, told you I fucking put them to use rode them hard put them away wet quite literally game changer dog wait hold on speaking of which i think you have some on your feet oh my clap cleats <laughs> bimo put his on so for the listeners that are or the watchers rather the people that watch on youtube that's what they look like uh clap cleats sent us a white pair as well as a black pair. I put mine to fucking use, so they're already stretched out, beat up. Not really. They hold up well. They're a real fucking game changer. So, my girl, we uh, we obviously threw them on because she wanted to try them out right away. As soon as we got them, it's like chill. Let's fucking. Chill. She's always she's always so excited to like try something new or get into it. I'm like, just fucking chill out for a second, please. Feel that? Um. I, mean, I was excited too. Don't get me wrong. Anyways, <laughs> Trev's over here fucking eating licorice and distracted me. You can eat your licorice, Trev. You don't have to hide it from me. It's okay. I'm not gonna yell at you. And uh, but yeah, the fucking clap cleats, game changer, giant game changer. My girl not only said that she was able to get off way harder, but she felt like I was able to fuck her way harder. And I'm not, I'm not putting on for this fucking product right now. This isn't, this isn't a fucking ad. We are being paid by these people, but this is not part of it. I'm just telling you my experience. I'm excited for you to try these. I'm excited to suck. Are you going to try them? Yeah, bro. They're going to grip the fuck out of the carpet that I got. Nah, you're going to fuck somewhere else besides the carpet. All right. Get in the shower if you have to, dude. I hate fucking the shower. We've already been over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not fucking in the shower. Um, Yeah, dude. I'll take them on the road. Take them out for a spin? Yeah, for sure. Ride them hard, put mm -hmm. them way wet. Yeah. I get done fucking my girl using the clap cleats. And uh, it was fucking hilarious. Fucking hilarious. And one of the questions this week is laughing after you orgasm. This was not part of that. I was laughing because of she was fucking being ridiculous. We get in having sex. She's leaned over the back of the couch. And then we move down to where she's bent over the couch like this. And I mean, not, not, not exactly like that. A little more sexy than that. But <laughs> she, she, 
<laughs> but uh, I get down. I pull. I get in. I pull out. She falls straight on her face on the fucking floor. Straight to her fucking face. Her back's like bent up onto the couch. You know what I mean? I was, I'm laughing as I'm getting off. These motherfuckers just grip, dog. So I couldn't like slide backwards real quick. You know what I mean? Highly recommended. Highly recommended. Just push her down, fucking stomp her out. No, <laughs> no, I didn't want to hurt her. I didn't want to hurt her. It was an accident. I was concerned afterwards, but I did laugh. You ready to get some fucking listener submissions, Doug? Yeah, We've bro. been rambling on about bullshit for like an hour. You found your full potential in some clap cleats. I, lo- I love it. I found my full potential Fuck with it. and without spray. I use spray again, dog. Business. <laughs> Business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never fucking without it again. That's it. Sooner or later, you're just gonna hire somebody to fuck her for you. <laughs> oh, I know, dude. But hey, guys. So I wanted to try something new. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get into some fucking listener submissions. Thank you to those of you that sent in listener submissions this week. It's greatly appreciated. If you would like to participate in the listener submission segment of the podcast, DM either Friday Night Therapy. Email us at Friday Night Therapy 3 at Gmail or DM this beautiful motherfucker sitting next to me. His IG is B underscore Mo 2. Correct? Sure, yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> He's tagged in fucking everything. You can find him. If you want a picture of his cock, ask him if there's something on the phone. Okay, let's get it. Let's get into this guy. Didn't you? Hit us, dog. <laughs> Took your advice and talked to my boyfriend about going down on me. This is probably like two, three episodes ago that this... This was like 10 episodes ago. No, it was yeah. probably like three episodes ago. It was the same she, chick though, yeah. Yeah, DM us talking about her... She was uncomfortable with her boyfriend going down on her or he didn't know how to. I don't know. Yeah, they, Anyways, they, had, they hadn't got into it yet. Yeah, but they've been together for fucking ever. Right, right. So yeah, took your advice and talked to my boyfriend about going down on me. Thank you. Uh, it's been a couple weeks now, and he loves it. Now, I'm on my period, and he still wants to do it. Is that weird? Hmm. No. I don't think that's weird at all. That's not weird at all. I mean, once he does it, on your period, he probably won't want to do it again. He, but. okay, so I wonder how the interaction happened. Was he super turned on and then asked her because it's new to him? So no, he's like, bro. oh, fuck, I love this shit now. Yeah, exactly. That's right. the same way I feel about going down on girls. It turns them on hella, and it turns me on hella. Right, exactly. So it's like I have to do it. So he's like... Fuck it. I don't really give a fuck. Yeah, you like, like fall in love with doing it. You do. You do. Right. Yeah. Okay. You fucking fall in love with doing it. And she's probably like, oh, I'm on my period. And he's like, I don't give a fuck. He's like, I don't really care. Yeah. And she's like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah. It's not weird, but like. So I would imagine that, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I was going to say, I would imagine they probably had sex on her period, but maybe not though. I, I don't know. She didn't specify. You ever, you ever ate somebody out on their period? Uh, not fully. Like spotting, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when they're like, I'm spotting. Right, right. You're like, like yeah, okay, we, we know what that means. As soon as I stick my dick in you, you're, you're not spotting no more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time. Every yeah. fucking time. You're like, well, yeah, I'm spotting too. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. But I, yeah, uh, not like fully on their period. I, I haven't done it since. I, I have, definitely. I'm not like a, really about it. Oh, what were you going to say? No, I'm just, I don't know. Were you going to say I'm not an animal? Is that what no, you're I'm going to say I'm not like really about it. I mean, it definitely doesn't have like the best flavor. Yeah, you block it out. One of the best things about getting COVID is I still do not have my smell, for those of you wondering. and I don't have it still. So everything smells the same to me. Exhaust fumes, coffee, food, cologne, everything smells exactly the same to me. Hmm. It's fucking brutal. So also, my sense of taste is off as well because I'm, I've lost one of my senses. And those two things work together, like taste and smell. So eating pussy is like, it don't even matter. All right. It don't even matter anymore. Okay. I definitely ate pussy on a period. Oh, yeah. 100%. I feel like a lot of people probably have. 100%. I feel like it's like a weird teenage like thing to right. do it. But advice for this person, one, it's not weird. Two, definitely let them do it because, like I said before, take a shower first. Works with both circumstances. Yeah. Uh, but also, you're not 
it's not like when you're on your period, you're just fucking bleeding all over the place. No, that's not no, how no, that no. works. <laughs> like, no, 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 like no. you're good. You're literally you're gonna be good. Like if he hasn't started fucking you yet, and he eats you out, you're gonna be fine. It's not there's nothing wrong with it. it. Might taste a little off. Whatever, it's fine. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking go for it. Go for it, dude. I'll say why not. Get into it. Get into it. I like how we just give this particular person advice in the way of like, yeah, just do everything. It's fine. Just do it all. We give everybody that advice, though. Yeah, but it's not like anything crazy. No, 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 not at all. Do like a minute thing. Yeah. Have, like, going down on each other. We're like, what the fuck? It's a big deal. That's a big step in the relationship. I'm, pr- I'm proud of you, actually. Right? Yeah. I'm fucking proud of you. I'm glad you fucking said something. I'm glad you said something. Now you got to enjoy, or or maybe not yet. Not even but, for him to love it. Right. For you to for fucking you, enjoy For you, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Now you got to fucking enjoy something that everybody should be enjoying. Yeah. Big time. You know what's not enjoyable, though? And I don't... I, I, I could have brought it up earlier before we got into shit, but... So, I'm having sex, right? And they're talking... But they're like not talking about like sex or like talking to me dirty. Just saying some like rambling ass shit. What? They're like, hey, I gotta go to the grocery store afterwards? I, like kinda not, Wait, not like not like Wait, that, but on. like I don't wanna like explain what they said, but <laughs> just, bro, just like Is it you can't you can't tell me? You don't wanna tell me? Just like weird shit or whatever. Or like when they like Or they like talking about or if what they you're like doing, talk like, bad about themselves. Oh, okay, okay. Like, it's okay. just like, bro. I'm like, what? I'm like, shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Really, like, like talking about themselves because they're like insecure about a part of their body I, or I something. Don't, I don't know, dude. But it just like instantly, just makes me not even want to have sex. Really? Just like I'm not even like, I'm like trying to fucking stay hard. No shit, that yeah. bad. And they're like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I mean? It's just like, dude, I don't know. How, I don't know how to explain okay, okay, it. Okay, okay, no, no, like, no. I think I know what you're talking about. I think I know what you're talking about. Like the, the awkward kind of talk. Like it's not sexy talk. It's no. not like, it, it's like awkward talk. It's like random awkward talk. And it's like, like what are we doing here? Like it's. I, I I realize why you're having a hard time explaining it because now I'm having a hard time explaining it. I yeah, I don't know really like word for word what like, I yeah, said. Yeah, I can't I can't give you an exact I'm like, example. Shut up. Like, but what it's are like, you talking about? Right, you like you don't have to say all this. Like you don't have to say anything like that. Just just like I'm just, just like, don't do that. Lose my focus. Like no, I like no idea what's going on. I'm just like, dude, what the fuck? Hey, dog, I got something for you. I got something for you, and I want you to try it, and I'm gonna try it. <laughs> what now? Dude, we're always trying shit. You already know, dog. <laughs> We're gonna get. We're gonna reach a point to where we're trying wild shit. <laughs> so check it out. This isn't wild by any means. So you know, like we've talked about dirty talk before. We've talked about that type of thing. Yeah. You're, you're not really crazy into it. Um, I fuck with it heavy. I, I enjoyed that kind of shit. No, I, I like it. Like okay. I'm cool with it, but I just like don't say weird shit. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Got like it, when got it's it. being said to me, like I'm like, all right. Okay, you fuck with that part of it. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Two things actually that that have to uh, pertain to that little subject. One of which is I was I heard from a female the other day. I heard from a woman the other day, since apparently female is the wrong word to use. That dudes that ask whose pussy is this during sex, instant turn off. Also, 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 there was another one. There was another one that she was like, there is nothing that will make me go drier quicker. Like, you know, guys ask fucking like, like guys, the guys asking with the intent of like you saying it's your pussy. Nobody says that. Oh, no. I beg to differ. You're just like sitting there fucking. You're like. Whose pussy is this? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Who pussy this? <laughs> Say my pussy. <laughs> yeah, that's like the classic line for all guys. That's a classic line. And, oh, trust me, I promise, I promise, Bimo, we're going to get so many fucking messages saying that, oh, yeah, every guy I've fucked has said that to me. Guarantee it. I would be willing to bet money on it. But but also there was another one. God damn it, I wish I could remember. I wish I could remember. Um, 
Oh, like the whole, like the whole, you like this. You like that? You like this? Which I would have to say I'm guilty of. Uh, but I was going to say, I feel like I get asked that like every time I have sex. Right, 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 right definitely. But woman asking you, that yeah. might that's a little different though. Then the dude yeah. asking the chick, apparently, apparently, this is coming from a woman. I don't know. This is yeah. coming from a woman. My girl fucks with everything. She doesn't really give a fuck. Yeah. It, it is what it is. But instead of that, I had heard something the other day. Instead of saying, you like this, you like this shit, say, I know. Just say, I know. <laughs> just randomly? Just, I know. Just, just into her ear. I know. <laughs> Read her body language. Right as she's like getting there, just be like, I know. I know. You know what I mean, dude? Is that not smooth as fuck? I thought that was so smooth. I was like, all right, all right. Yeah, right, dude. Because now, yeah, but a woman would take that shit and flip it on you and be like, you cocky fucking piece of shit. What yeah, mean, yeah. You know? Oh, for you sure. Know what I mean? For so sure they would. Like, but regardless I, of what the fuck you do, they're going to fucking talk shit. But I guarantee, I guarantee a lot of women listening right now to this podcast were like, what the fuck? That's cocky as fuck. But I guarantee they thought about it and was like, that's also hot as fuck. The one I was talking to, um, she, I think she heard that on a podcast or something like that. And she's like, when I very first heard them say that, I was like, that is so fucking cocky. But then she was like, I was horny as fuck also. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, maybe I do like that. Hmm. What do you think about that? Would you be willing to try something like that? Or do you think... You, you got to really be tearing that shit up, though. You got to be fucking that shit up. You cannot just be like... <laughs> I was going to do it just for a shit to gig, bro. You can't just be... You can't be in there two seconds about to come and be like, yeah, I know. It's <laughs> everything that I'm doing, bro. I was going to fucking give her a kiss. I know. <laughs> I know. Start figuring. I know. She's like, God damn. <laughs> like, what I the know. fuck are you talking about? You know what? What do you know? <laughs> you got to really be tearing that shit up, though, to use that line. I'm going to try it, though. I'm, I'll fucking try it. I, I, don't know, I don't know if I remember to tell you or not, but I'll try. Let's go to the next goddamn listener submission, boys. This is a wild sex story from that we, had, that we had sent in this week. I went to Colorado last March, and my friends and I went out to a bar in downtown met some cool people i got crazy drunk off three drinks because apparently it's the highest altitude state in the u.s so that was fantastic and we ended up walking around with two guys my friend went with her dude and i was mine we ended up at some hotel that was multiple floors and there was a balcony at the very top somehow we got in and we're just fucking around in the hotel fucking around in the hotel without a room we started going at it in the elevator, like clothes coming off, not giving a fuck about cameras or the possibility of someone getting into the elevator. The elevator door is open and we were the only people in the balcony hallway. So we fucked while I held the rail, the balcony looking down a good four or five stories. I look all the way down and see a fucking security guard. So we bolted, stop. So we bolted, stopped and went down there all slick. Finally got a room. It was great. Next morning, I had no fucking idea what was going on. How the fuck did you just tell all of that? But the next morning, you didn't know. No, I think she was probably like, "What? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? You know, you know how like that sort of shit happens, like glimpses, or you get filled in from the fucking dude you're fucking." Yeah, uh, yeah. I made up a couple stories. I made up a couple stories. <laughs> that's always weird it's always weird when you tell stories from being blacked out because you're like you're telling the story that but, I got told <laughs> but you're like I was blacked out but here's the story yeah. so you're like well you weren't blacked out and you're like no I was fucking blacked out Yeah. I don't remember anything this is just what I was told fucking browning out dude browning out that's when you just come in and out right 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 it's always fun browning out I thought that was like eating ass or something like that nah, dude. you're browning out nah <laughs> <laughs> that was a stupid joke. That was a dumb joke. Me? No, no, me. Oh, like brown eyes. I'm pretty sure people like say that's what it is. Like, really? Come, that's a real you, thing. Like, come yeah. to and shit like throughout the night. Yeah. Uh, pertaining to the story, have you ever randomly met anybody out of town and fucked? 
out of town. Yeah, like been out of town, random, like like her position. It's always something that you think about as a man, especially women have no problem with. They have no problem with that. They can they can sleep with whoever they want to. They go out of town. I think I'm gonna fuck somebody random tonight. Okay, cool. That's mm-hmm. fine. Win win. Dudes, it always seems your intention when you're out of town with your boys, you go to Reno, you go to Vegas, you're like, we're fucking tearing it up. We're tearing it up this weekend. Mm-hmm. Never once, never once do you sleep with somebody. You know our problem? What? We overthink it. Oh, really? Bad, yeah. Because we're going there with that intention instead of just allowing it to happen? You pretty much. And like you overthink like what you're going to do and like how you're going to like move and like make a move on somebody or whatever. Then right. it just like comes to the end of the night and nothing happened. Right, 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 right. Hmm. It's true, bro. It is so very if you true. Think you're, so you think if you're just there with the intention of just having fun, having a good time, getting fucked up, just Going out, hang with your boys. Yeah, you're probably more likely you're to probably, like be like yourself and like loosen up and actually oh, like say right. something to somebody. Right. And instead of trying to like like yeah. you're saying, watch your movement, like what you're doing, yeah. how you're doing it, trying I, to be cool. I'm like kind of bad with it as well though. Like I'm I'm that way. Aren't we all though? I'm like the overthinker, but I also fucking don't really like talking to people. Aren't aren't we all though? Isn't that just human nature? Especially no, when you're like bro. I'm trying to fuck. Like not really. That's a good theory. That's a good theory, and it makes a lot of fucking sense. Hmm. If any of you have any input on that, DM us. Let us know your thoughts on that. I'm curious. It's a wild story. Yeah, but I'm not fucking random people in elevators, though, dude. I don't know. <laughs> dude. Like, not because, like, I don't want to, but just because of the fact, like, first of all, I'm not trying to get fucking arrested. Right. I have, like, some weird, like, Megan's Law shit on my right. head. Right, like, right, 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 right. Just cause, you know what I mean? I've wanted to fuck around in an elevator so many times. Why is that a place that we think about fucking around in? It's like the, we have a certain amount of time from this floor to f- this floor, but there's cameras. Fuck it. What can we do? I, I don't it's know. It's like, there, there's, there's that weird feeling that we all go through. We all have this weird little thing that we want to fuck in an elevator or just do something in an elevator. I don't fuck with elevators, dude. I take the stairs. You take the stairs? Yeah. Damn, Mr. Fit, dog. Mr. Fit. I'm scared of elevators. No, you're not. I swear. Are you serious? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> elevators are fucking weird, though. You ever been stuck in an elevator? No. You ever been stuck in a dryer? A couple times. Okay. A couple times. <laughs> Gotta help out, though. <laughs> hey, your step saves. Yeah. <laughs> Took him like 30, 45 minutes to get me out. <laughs> <laughs> 30 45 and a giant dildo yeah they had to use like a plunger yeah he lubed up my whole lower body and he could just <laughs> lo- lubed my abdomen <laughs> all right guys let's go to the next fucking submission here why is it hard to keep a conversation going for some guys like some people don't ever know what to say if it becomes weird that's me that's you. Yeah, I just fucking don't talk back anymore. Hmm. Because I'm just not fucking interested. But, dude, are you... Uh, <laughs> you're just not interested? Yeah, bro. People don't talk back. It's like because there's not interest. Well, okay, so... And it goes both ways. I not think, just guys. I think this conversation... Or I think that this question sparked... I think it sparks a good, a good, another good question on top of this question, which is like, is it because the things you guys are talking about no. Aren't interesting? It, well, exactly. It, it's simple as fuck. Because they're not interested or because they're fucking talking to somebody else. Do we even have interesting conversations over text? Uh, Yeah, you definitely can. Like, you definitely can, for sure. But it's like, like I've text to, is for convenience, in, in my mind, at least. If I don't fucking text people like because I want to talk to them about like something important or what's like going on. Right. Like I call them. Right. You call them. Yeah. You call I got fucking. I hate texting. But a lot of people these days do not call ever. Period. They they haven't yeah. used the phone feature on their phone in a long time. Yeah. I know. I don't know. Like, but no, for real. Like, if a guy, if a guy is what you're asking, is like, it's dude. Seriously, it's like because you're just not interesting, or they're literally talking to other people. That's a good point. When you're talking to like four people. That's a really good point. When you're talking to like four people, it gets hella complicated to like yep. try to keep up with every conversation. Especially once, like it's fine, you know, at the beginning of the day or whatever. 
towards the end of the day, you're done. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to text these fucking four people. I don't give a fuck. I, I'll text them tomorrow. And you're like, what the fuck? Why didn't she text me back? Or why didn't he text me back? Whatever. Yeah, messaging like four people at a time is just like, it's fucking... Like exhausting. An, it's like annoying. So it's it literally ends up just becoming like you end up talking to like the one person that is the most interesting. Well... Or that like you can actually have like a good conversation with. Definitely. In, in part of that, part of the whole texting multiple people at once it kills the enjoyment it takes all the enjoyment out of you wanting to text this person because now it's a chore instead of something you want to do you're trying to keep up with so many different people it's becoming a fucking chore trying to keep up with so many different people yeah instead of like oh i really like i enjoy talking to this dude or this chick no you're not wrong at all okay how do you have more interesting conversation over text i don't know how do you Let's talk know. about this because I think this is really what they want to know. Is like, I don't know. I like. I don't. I don't fucking hit people up, dude. I don't. I don't text people. Okay. So I have no idea. Can we? Can we stop the whole? Can we just normalize not asking people how their fucking day is going? So oh, then the person know. just gives a generic ass answer in the hopes that it's going to spark some conversation. Also, the text. What are you doing? Well, I mean, that's pretty understandable. What are, you, what are you up to? It's like, like, it just feels like it's so, like, that's why people get bored of texting. It's like, what, like, what are we yeah, doing? Yeah, but if you're like out and about, about and it's been like a here? couple hours, like, what are you up to? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah. Like, that's understandable. But it's like, you're going to ask me that five times today? Yeah, but then they can say what they're doing and that could create like a whole new conversation. Right, that's the point in it. That's the point in it. But like, can we just get better at conversation over text so we don't have to do that. I feel like I feel like it gets fucking monotonous. I feel like it gets boring. What are you trying to do? Play 21 fucking questions every day? Yeah, dude. I don't oh, know. Dude. I don't know. No, I I know how that is. People just like cuz I'd be in situations where like people message me like and they'll be messaging me like asking shit. Okay. Like, constantly messaging me to where like I just like I don't know. I might not be that interested, you know. But they keep fucking like saying shit. Not like how are you? Okay. What are you doing? But they keep right. talking about something. That's cool though. That's fucking cool. I no, fuck it is. That. I mean, it's entertaining. But it's just now. Like, let me ask you: Would you prefer to have your texting each other? Like, would you prefer to have a little piece of that conversation be over voice text? Um, is that more meaningful? No, bro. Absolutely not. I'd rather just talk on the phone. Straight talk on the phone. Yeah, yeah. it kind of defeats the purpose, right? Kind of defeats the purpose of like voice text. Like we just <laughs> we just talk on the fucking phone. What are we doing here? Yeah, I, I mean, voice text could be like funny, I guess. Right. Yeah. More like entertaining. Entertaining, obviously. exactly. Because you exactly. can like hear the humor or like the emotion. Right. I wonder if there's people out there that do have their conversations over voice text, and that's it. Oh, they don't even bother time. texting. Probably all the time. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's brilliant. Maybe. I'm going to start sending all my texts over voice text. What the fuck am I doing? Why am I wasting my time typing? Why am I wasting my time swiping around the fucking screen? Oh, dude. So I got this text message. Oh, it's yeah, in, it's in fucking okay. Spanish, right? And I can't fucking read Spanish because I'm like talking about like, oh, you don't know Spanish. I'm like, yeah, I do. I'm like, all right, say something. So they send me this fucking sentence in Spanish. It's like longer than a sentence. Okay. I'm like, what the fuck? But I'm with, uh, I'm playing video games and my buddy's playing with me and he's fucking Mexican. He speaks Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I forward the message to him. And I'm like, tell me what this says. So there's like four of us playing together. He's like, what the fuck? He's like, you really want me to read this? And you really I, want me to read this? What the fuck? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, bro, what the fuck does it say? It just has some wild ass shit no about shit. how she wants to like <gasps> ride my dick no up and down way, and up and down dude. until she comes or some shit. And he like read it and everybody just starts <laughs> laughing or whatever. And I was like, oh, that's fucking great. I was like, what dude. the fuck? Because I was like, what does it say? Messaging her at first. And she's like, oh, I was just talking shit. Because like, she the didn't fuck? think you were going to be able to read it. So she's just no, like, let me, yeah, let me yeah. spit some wild shit. I'm literally shit. talking to my friend that speaks Spanish. So that's I just sent him the message. great, dude. But then I didn't realize that in my text you can just hold the message and it'll translate it for you right right so i was like what the fuck so forgot I just, about that yeah i held the message so i held the message and it actually translates it does it read it out loud for you i'm assuming yeah it's yeah, literally yeah, yeah. Okay, my okay. Oh, my fucking last screenshot on my phone that's fucking awesome dude yeah it's fucking that's hilarious. fucking awesome oh shit can you play it out loud for us i think it's best i start reading it yeah hold it to the mic 
Wait. Put your cock in me. <laughs> I'm going to ride that shit up and down until I scream. And then you'll come on my face. And then we are going to go again. And again. And again. <laughs> yes, dude. Everybody starts sitting oh. your fucking sexy text. In Spanish. Yeah, Siri really fucking gets me going. <laughs> yeah, dude, that gets me hard as hell. Especially because I got a dude Siri on mine just to get me extra rock hard. All right, guys. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Let's do it. All right, y'all. Let's take a quick break before we get back in the podcast. With Valentine's Day quickly approaching, fuck those flowers. If I see anybody getting anybody flowers, shame on you. What you need to do is go to clapcleats.com, use the promo code FNT, purchase yourself, a pair of clap cleats, you get two pairs of clap cleats for $20. Bemo's got his on right now. Insane amount of grip and improves the quality of your sex by at least 30%. At least. Fact of the matter is, if you want to clap cheeks like a motherfucking beast, you need to purchase clap cleats. Clap cleats version 2.0 are high performance socks with advanced polymer grip that give you extra traction for that action and better motion for that ocean. It's not about the size of the boat. It's the, it's, it's how you use the sail. Yeah, let's go with that. The five-toe design and custom fit socks stay put so you can hit it deep out of the park. Made of bamboo, they are thinner and more breathable than cotton. And let me tell you, they are way more breathable than cotton. They feel great on my feet right now. I hate sweaty feet, so I fucks with them. Head over to clapcleats.com. Purchase yourself a pair of clap cleats. Pick the color you want just in time for Valentine's Day. I know some of you listeners already reached out to us, said you purchased some for your husband or for yourself for Valentine's Day. That's fucking dope. Use our promo code most importantly. Use our promo code FNT for 15% off. Head over and get them, guys. We love you. Thank you for supporting FNT. Go fuck with clap cleats. Let's get back into the episode. Let's do it. You ready to get some F&T toppings, boy? Yeah. Let's do this shit. First topic of the goddamn night, guys. Have you ever been ghosted slash stood up? If so, how did it happen? 76% said yes. 24% said no after out of about 300 people. A lot of hearts been broken out here, boys. Hmm. You've been ghosted before. You've been you've been ghosted or stood up before. I've never been stood up. Like I never went to go meet up with somebody and they weren't right. there. Um, right. I don't know if I've ever been ghosted. Like maybe, maybe a little yeah. bit. Like I've been talking to somebody and then it kind of just like stops. Yeah. And then I literally don't hear from them again. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I've been ghosted. Oh, I've been ghosted. <laughs> yeah. I've been ghosted. And I've been stood up. But but I, I was like ghosted in a situation where like I kind of like was trying too hard to like get something going or like okay. trying too hard to talk to this person where I kind of right. like assumed maybe it would happen. Right. And then it fucking definitely happened. And she was just like, ah, oh, yeah, he he's, a, he's what we call a try hard and I'm not giving it up to him. Fuck him. And you know what's the saddest thing in the world, dude? It's just... When those are the people you talk to for like a couple of weeks, a month or whatever, and you never fucked, this makes me want to fuck them even more. And you start planning your life. This is the one. No, 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 no. What, no this no, is the no, one. No. <laughs> Our children no, no, are going to no, no, be beautiful. No, 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 no. And she just leaves your no, ass on no, red forever. No, no, no. The only no. thing you, the only memory no. you have of her is the, is the red receipt. You, you go back and look at it every day and you're like, oh my God. I remember the good times. Is that how you feel? No. no. <laughs> is that how you really feel? Bimo's the only person I know that leaves his read receipts on. Really? Yeah, only person I know. Oh, that's weird. Makes me feel like you're an honest guy because because you always read them and reply right away. It's like, damn, you're a real one. Yeah, well, I don't... Not know. me, dog. Not me. I read a bunch of shit and don't reply. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Or I, don't I just never see it. <laughs> I don't bad with that shit. I'll fucking read it and not reply. I'll be like, yeah, I fucking just didn't want to reply. Right. I've been stood up before. I've been ghosted. Hundred percent. I've been ghosted, and it's always you. For me, I've never been ghosted. Just talking. It's always like you're planning on and hanging out, and you're gonna fuck, and like you guys are maybe talking about like fucking or whatever. 
maybe you sent pictures, whatever the case is, that's when you get ghosted. When you thought you thought you had it in the bag, you thought everything was good, you guys were hanging out, and she just leaves your ass on red, breaks your heart. Now, Trev for sure been oh stood up, God. <laughs> for sure been stood up and, and ghosted. <laughs> Actually, I've never been stood up, but okay. I've I've done my fair share of ghosting and have been ghosted. Jart back for sure. Yeah. Have you ever ghosted anybody, Bimo? No. 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 Good dudes for good dudes for L, huh? Like, I would say yeah, but like they probably look at me like this piece of shit. You know what I mean? But like I'm not gonna fucking like sit here and like lead somebody on. Bro, okay. What the fuck's the point? Is it such a waste of my fucking time? Todd, to- totally. But not saying that it's a waste of time. Like it could not be a waste of time. You could seriously like I've had like good intentions in talking to this person, but oh yeah, yeah a yeah, better yeah. option came along. Unfortunately, exactly. Yeah, it sounds yeah. fucked up. I get it. Yeah, yeah, but um, but females do that shit too. I'm in it. I'm in it at like looking at it at the point of like, why am I doing this? Not like something better came along. Right, right. More or less like, why am I doing this? You know what I mean? So it's more like I kind of just like let it go, but I don't like ghost them. Right. Nine times out of ten, I feel like if a girl ghosts you, if a girl is ghosting a dude, like a better option came along. Oh, for sure. Somebody oh, that she yeah, wanted to actually talk to, like. Yeah. Might have just been more attractive or had more to offer or had a bigger cock or what the fuck ever. Yeah. Can't hey, expect to just it, stay keep, around. Keep, keep your chin up, dude. Keep you're your gonna, chin up. You're going to be that better looking guy one day. Ooh, work on yourself. Yeah. Work on yourself, boy. Actually, work on yourself, girl, as well. You're going to be that girl one day as well. Because girls be out here getting ghosted more than dudes, I think. No. I think so. Nah. You don't think so? I, I, I 100% know that, like, women talk to more guys than guys talk to women. Like, for sure. You are right in almost all cases, yes. So it's like... In, in about, in about it's probably like a 90% ratio to 10%. 10% of those dudes talk to more women than vice versa. Because yeah. I met those dudes. I met those dudes and I see how they are with yeah. with certain women. They'll ghost fucking five chicks a week, which is savage to me because I've never been that person. I've never been the kind of guy that can even get five girls a week, let alone ghost five girls. Yeah, but it also has to do with like your standards. I, I'm also, I'm a, I'm a lover. So it's like, <laughs> fall in love with you. I don't want to ghost you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I fall oh, I in know love with it. my coffee chick that gives me coffee in the morning. I know exactly whatever. what you mean, dude. I used to fucking be like that. I used to like... Just kept, like catch emotions and feelings so quick. I'm not kind of person, dude. <laughs> dude I, I fall can't. in love with a gas station dude at, at the fucking the gas station clerk. I can't no more, dude. Yeah, we've talked about it before, but dude, I just can't. You just can't. Your like, heart's I broken. Know. No, it's not. It just like it don't work no more. Fuck, bro. Something like I don't know. Like I really gotta like really fuck with somebody to like really actually like. I thought you were gonna be saying I really gotta work on this. I got an no, issue. No, no, no. It's not an issue <laughs> no, because no, I know a hundred percent what the fuck I want. Right, right. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't got an issue, but like, but it's just weird. So, not only was I stood up, like there's stood up, and then there's like fucked up. Now, is that worse than getting left? At dinner, you know, like the classic, the cliche being stood up. Like, you ready to order? No, I'm waiting for somebody. Right. Yep, 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 yep. I'm waiting for somebody. You got another plate and a glass of water sitting across from you. Maybe you order a glass of wine or something. And she just never comes. That'd be rough. Because she's out fucking somebody else. That's why you don't fucking take these bitches to dinner. No, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> That's why you always pick them up before. Who the yeah. fuck meets people at dinner? You don't do that. No, you That's don't. That's weird as hell. You don't take girls to dinner on the first date anyways. Oh, really? You shouldn't. I mean, like, everybody does just because it's so easy and it's like, what do you want to do? Like, go get something to eat. You know what I mean? It's a good way to have a conversation as well. Yeah, for sure. But, like, dinner's not the move. Like, it really, it f- realistically is not. Hmm. That's girls a, don't like to eat in front of dudes. That's a, Especially when they very first meet. So it doesn't make sense to go to dinner. No, that's a that's a good point. That's a really good point. But at the same time, it's like you can tell what kind of chick this girl is by the way how much she eats in front of you. <laughs> if she's no, eating you more can't than because you, because you're gonna be like, mm, take a couple bites and then be like, oh, she might or she might not or she might get the fuck down and not let you know what kind of. Okay, person well, I'm gonna tell is. you right now, most of them don't. Yeah, most of them do not. Definitely not. My girl definitely did, but 
My girl's a rare case, dude. She's yeah. a very rare case. But you're right. You're not. You are not wrong about yeah. that. But it is easy. What What is the ideal first date? I don't. Honestly, I don't know because I okay. I haven't really like been on like great dates or whatever. Right. But dude, I don't. I would say like something something fun is is a good first date. It is something fun, but. Going on solo dates for first dates is awkward as fuck. Ooh. I think like social events or like with right. other people is so much more right. fun. Exactly for four for four first dates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're you're not realistically wrong at all. Yeah. like I would way way rather like meet somebody and go do something like with my friends exactly. or like with a couple people or like go out socially somewhere. Like we don't have to like be around everybody, right. but like just because it breaks the fucking tension totally totally it's not just you guys there's no there's not really yeah. if there is going to be a little bit of awkwardness there's really not if you're around other people and you the, just see more or less like the way that they act around other people yes. and shit so it's yes. like that's just for me that's more like whatever you know what i mean because we could totally adapt to each other very easily if we actually like each other right and for you that's really important because you, like your core group of friends is your life. Yeah, so like I'm like never got to get along with these people. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Uh, not really. Not really. No, no, not really. I don't. I'm never gonna like be with somebody if they like. If I really care about them, I could care less if they fuck with my friends. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I don't okay. really care about that. See, that was always big for me when I was younger. Always. Oh always yeah, big for, for me sure. When I was younger. It's big for a lot of people. Yeah. Which is like a weird. It's weird. I've gotten to the point in my life right now where I've gave up. I've gave up my time with my friends which like hurts me but like at the same time it's like i'm not doing it for reasons that are wrong it's not because i have any animosity or like i don't care about my friends still or anything like yeah. that it's just i just have so much in my life and so many goals set and so much to achieve and so much of my time taken mm -hmm. that like i just physically don't have it i don't have it to give i don't have yeah. that that piece of time or myself to give anymore yeah, for sure but that's like becoming a fucking dad yeah and no shit like that part you know of that I mean? was yeah a yeah, lot of definitely. people do that but yeah i'm not there yet <laughs> yeah <laughs> and a lot i don't know but like i've been i've been with somebody before who fucking did, did despise my friends really not like despise not despise them but like fucking hated them got it so it's like it is what it is that yeah i'm like i'm not gonna ask you to go hang out right. with them you know what i mean I'm gonna I'm like, leave oh, you just give over that yeah but like i'm gonna leave you for the day go yeah, fucking hang out with my friends day. yeah like fucking <laughs> just tell my friends like fuck you you ready to read some of these replies? Replies. Yeah, let's do it. No, listen. This one time. So the first, so the first reply to this topic is no. Listen. This one time, I hooked up with a guy, and it was ass. It was so bad. I'm an honest person, so I straight up told him that was all right. I didn't come. <laughs> Jesus. And he just looked at me, and it was car sex. So he started driving me home, and at the stoplight, he went on his snap. And dead ass blocked me. Blocked me. His big boy ego was a little hurt. That's some pussy shit. That's some pussy shit. First off, first off, you fucked up not laying it down properly. You fucked it up. It happens. It happens. It does happen. I'd be like, all right, well, next time. Yeah. You know but like, saying? Force that hand. But like, you got to be smooth about it. You got to be smooth about it. And be like, oh, I, I fucked up. I, I, I was drunk. I don't know. <laughs> be like, I'm driving. I know, but I am. <laughs> I had too much to drink yesterday. Yeah. Make up some fucking excuse. Don't be a bitch and block her. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Get on your phone and be like, yeah, you're blocked. I don't want to see you again because I didn't get you off and you were mean. <laughs> what the fuck? Pussy. Straight up, there's nothing. There's nothing else to say about it. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's so weird because like I've, I'd want to like put input in on it, like from his perspective. But dude, I've, that's just never happened to me. Right. Like, there's not a scenario that I can see that would justify him doing something like that. That's weird. That's First weird. of all, I'm not yeah. just gonna go on Snapchat and block somebody. <laughs> and he obviously did it in front of her, purposeful, purposely, <laughs> so he, so she could fucking see him do it. What are you like twelve? That I'm saying. Are you fucking ten years old? Yeah. That's so weird. That's some weird ass shit. It's like you're on the fucking playground in fucking middle school and you know you have like class with her next period, but you've seen her with another boy on the playground, right. so you fucking block right. her. So <laughs> the way she's in class, she's like, what the fuck? Literally, dude. Yeah. The next mission was he had to pick up his baby mama 
He had to pick up his baby and baby mama from the airport the night of our date. What? How's that Thus, ghosting you? What do you mean? I shouldn't be a responsible father. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. What do you mean? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Wait, you supposed to just leave his son or daughter at an airport? Okay, okay. Maybe, 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 maybe. If it was the situation like nah, her, bro, he's like, being a responsible father. Like her ride fell through. There was nothing else. Like obviously, there was nothing else he could do about it. They're obviously not together, clearly, because he's out dating. And it's like, but it's like, what? First off, what the fuck is her issue? Why didn't she figure it out? Why are you getting a hold of him? He's got shit going on. But I'll, but also, I'm trying to put myself in this situation. I would have the same fucking thing. I feel like... You gotta be a dad first. I feel, yes, you do. You got to. But at the same time, as a man... And you, because you thought about it exactly like I thought about it, I was like, yeah, you know, like, this shit happens. But also, if he didn't want to go on that fucking date, what a better way. What a better out. What a better out. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he felt guilty. And, and what, what are the fucking chances that she is not going to have a for sure ride or rental car or her car or what the fuck ever coming back from the airport with a child? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> exactly. She would have. She's responsible. She's not going to rely on his bum ass. That's why they're not together. Yeah, but how did you get ghosted and then find out what he was doing? <laughs> no. Well, no. I guarantee he was like, hey, we can't. I can't go on the date with you because my baby mama, my baby. That's not baby. getting ghosted, bro. That's a reasonable explanation it, well, no, to not go on up, a date. But she got stood up, though. It could be an excuse is what I'm saying. It's not a fucking excuse. It's a legitimate reason. Maybe. 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 How do we know? Is, That's well, why I said I'm that. standing up for this guy in this, <laughs> in this fucking situation because I... You're riding hard for this dude, but I think this dude's a fucking dirtbag. I think he stood her up when he knew he had to go on the date, made a real good excuse that she couldn't negate. She could not negate this excuse because it's legitimate. He's like... My child, my baby mama, I know I fucking hate that bitch, but I gotta go get her. I gotta go fucking get her. I'm sorry. Send me the re- send, send me more context. Yeah. Now, I, now I wonder, the real, the kicker though, the kicker though, did they go on a date afterwards? Or That's what I don't fucking understand. Like, we were supposed, we, the night of our date, like, so did right. you go? Well, I'm assuming no, they didn't go. Like, they didn't go. But did he make it up to her later on, like a few weeks later, whatever? I need to hear more because now I fucking am conflicted. <laughs> I can't stand up for you right now because I have no I'm idea. riding with the girl. I'm riding. No. With, I think the dude's a dirtbag. I think he's a dirtbag. Sounds like there was explanation, and that's a decent explanation to not go on a date. Unless he was lying, he was a dirtbag. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is just trying to fucking yeah. win everybody. I, I know him. I know him personally. He's a dirtbag. Oh, okay. <laughs> dude. All right, let's move on to the next fucking reply. <laughs> what, what said, do you? What'd you say? No, he said, you know him personally. He said, do you? Oh, I know him. Dude. Oh, I for real? Him. Yeah. No, I don't fucking know. Oh, no. I have no idea who he is. Um, all right, next reply is current guy I talked to. We had plans to meet up. He didn't respond for three days. He texted me out of the blue saying he was sorry, but he had injured his hand. <laughs> what, a, what a shitty excuse. It, it, well, the key word there is current guy talked to. So she obviously that hand injury yeah. came out to be more. See, now this kind of makes sense because let me tell you something. She he she, was fucking another girl. <laughs> he yeah. got stood up and said, "Damn." Also, she said, "You notice how she said current guy I'm talking to." She also included in that message, she is still talking to him because his dick is really good. Oh well, yeah. Oh I mean, well, yeah. What that's the fuck? Why he and, and, and also, hand. and also, she said he's done this before, but his dick's fire. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no, that's. <laughs> it's like that's yeah, I bet his dick is fire. That's why he can get away with that shit. I'm pretty sure that I, I replied with something like that. I was yeah, like, if, you, if the dick's fired, then whatever. So the next reply was, it would always happen the same way. I would talk to, I would talk to guys, but usually after about two weeks of talking, they would just ghost me. And she also she included, I stopped dating for a long time because she wasn't of it. Sending the titty pics. I would always happen. It doesn't happen the same way. You talk for two weeks and then they would stop talking to you. Yeah, I don't know. That is uh Wonder why? Uh, yeah, what is what is happening around that two week mark? If it happens multiple times, I hate yeah. to say it, but it's like the problem might be fucking 
Yeah. Point A. <laughs> let 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 the pa- let the babies free. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's gonna solve the issue. I, yeah, it is. <gasps> I don't think that's gonna solve the problem. But going back to the first one, dude. Yeah, if you keep giving up the pussy to like a guy who has fired dick or whatever, yeah, they're gonna fucking do what they want with you. Yeah, unfortunately. Like what the fuck? I don't and know. Hey, like you're not getting ghosted or stood up. You're just. Hey, it sounds like she's okay with that because he's going. Oh get yeah. Dick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you think? Yeah, trust me. You know what I thought about the other day? Before no. we move on to the next, the next topic. He just thought of it. No, I thought I thought about it. I thought about it a few days ago. I thought about it again today. You know when girls say like, there's another, another dirty talk fucking thing here. You know when girls say like, oh, your dick's so big. Your dick's huge. Like, they're just, Stop lying to me. They're just trying. They're just trying to fucking like, you know, talk fucking dirty, whatever. It's a cliche thing for women to say to dudes. Is that kind of offensive? Is it offensive? Is that kind of offensive? Because we know our dicks aren't that big. I don't know. We know what the fuck we're working with. I mean, I don't really take it offensive. I don't think it's offensive, but I was like... I'm like, if you think so. Like, like, hey, (laughs) but I know you're lying to me. If it's big to you... (laughs) But I know you're lying to me, though. Like, you're but how, lying uh, to me but maybe they're sex. not lying because maybe like they haven't been with any bigger, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it just reworked Austin's whole mind right there. No, no, it didn't. No? I just know oh. it's not fucking true. How do you know? <laughs> because, because that's fucking sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Oh yeah, for sure. I hope you've been bigger. Yeah, welcome to my life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my dick's not tiny, but I know I I know my dick does not fit in the category of like your dick's so big, your dick's huge. Oh my god, your cock's huge. It's like weird for me to talk about, but yeah, people tell me that, and I'm like, no, it's not. But it's like, hey, I know you're lying to me, though, and it's okay. You don't have to tell me that. And like that's how I feel, and then they say like something like, oh, like is big, and I'm like, no, it's not. Like I. It's fucking <laughs> like, hey, no, but I know you're lying. I know you're lying, like, and it's gonna, okay. How are you gonna tell me how big my dick is? <laughs> I stare at it every this is day. what I'm saying right now. This is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, how are you gonna tell me you're just trying to make me feel good and you're trying to dirty talk, but you're fucking you're, t- you're lying to me in front of my face right now? That's like me saying, Oh my god, your pussy's so tight. We both know that's not true. We both know it's <laughs> average as hell. <laughs> Just like my dick's average as hell. We're both averaging right now. That's why we're here. That's why we're together. Who are we fucking lying to? Is pussy really tight and loose, though? See, uh, what do you mean? Like, is pussy really like, oh, you got a tight pussy? Or you got like a loose pussy? Oh, yeah. You think I, so? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay, for sure. <laughs> I was, I was, gonna, I was, gonna, I was say, gonna see if you're gonna be like, no, dude, they're all the yeah, same. No. <laughs> oh, no, no, they're not all the same. No. No. no, yeah, no, it's for sure a real thing. So weird. What? I don't what? think it has anything to do with like how many dicks you've had inside. Oh, you. absolutely not. Absolutely not. Or else, when you have a child come out of your vagina, it'd be fucking direct. No, that's what I mean. That's right. why I don't know why everybody's like, oh, her pussy's all loose because she's had sex with thirty thousand guys. It's like, dude, what? It's like, but. But things are resilient as fuck. Yeah, but it's a fucking muscle. It's a fucking. It, 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 why would that matter? Now, now it does matter. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is the skin around your pussy does get fucked up? I think. I could be wrong. Please look that up first, Trevor, because I probably sound like a fucking idiot. I have no idea, bro. I really don't know. Like I'm. I I could be totally wrong about that. Have you or your significant other ever started? Ever started laughing after an intense orgasm? 63% said yes. 37% said no. Has this ever happened to you, Bimo? No. No, really? No. no. So this is an effect called, I can't remember. I wish I could remember, but I can't. Uh, there's a certain word, certain, uh, like give an explanation as to why this happens. Like the neurons and the receptors start firing and like your pleasure receptors and shit start getting crossed up. This happens to me quite often, but when it happens to me, it also happens to my girl at the same time. So I don't know why or how or if there's something to that, but it's when you have a crazy intense orgasm, you get off really fucking hard. Mm -hmm. You're not like laughing because you like, like something's funny or you got off really hard or like anything like that or because of the orgasm, like you 
are laughing because you can't help it. Like you're uncontrollably fucking laughing. And it's fucking, it's hilarious. Uh, it's yeah. hilarious, which in return makes you laugh even harder. <laughs> That's never happened to you? No, bro. Never. No. You ever got off so hard your ears rang? No. Really? What? My ears ring? Yeah. No, bro. Really? You, I don't know what you want me to say. Yeah, really. You need to stick a finger in your ass right before you get off. Then your ears are ringing for reals. You want to get that ear ring? I think my ears are going to ring. I think my asshole's going to hurt. <laughs> your asshole's going to ring too. <laughs> You know, brown really, I'm really surprised finger. to hear that. Actually, I'm really surprised to hear that. Uh, n- not even like I've I've had my ears ring from beating off. I think you need to go see a doctor. No, dog. No, no, no. It's just crazy, crazy intense. So, like after when I lay it down really fucking good, my girl actually after I used the clap cleats, she like got up. She's like, my ears are ringing like a motherfucker right now. And it's just an intense orgasm. It's like a fucking flashbang, dog. <laughs> It's like a flashbang. <laughs> it's flashbang of pussy, dude. <laughs> and now her ears are ringing. Oh, dude. She can't see. She's blind. <laughs> you playing Call of Duty? <laughs> <laughs> You're about to come? <laughs> Stun grenade going up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I can't. I'm really surprised to hear that, actually. Yeah, no, I just got off the other fucking night. My ears are ringing like a motherfucker. Hmm. No idea. It's... Amazing. It's amazing. My ears usually remain normal. Really? Yeah. I wonder if any of the girls that you slept with, none of the girls you ever slept with have said anything like that? I, I don't know. And they've never like, the, been like, my ears are recall? ringing. Yeah. Maybe they were worried. <laughs> they were the concern. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. I mean, like, we've been plenty of times where we're like fucking or whatever, and then she like starts seizing and then just like kind of like lays there for a minute. Right. That's like, I think, typically when that shit will happen. I'm not like, I'm <laughs> seeing fucking white. Imagine, <laughs> you know like, I mean? Jesus Christ, I almost had a seizure. My ears are ringing. Yeah. He's probably going to think I can't handle this shit. I got to not say shit. Yeah, I don't know. That was back in the day, though, dude. Yeah, that shit is very real. And it's like, it's for me, it's like, a, all right. At least I laid it down that time. At least I laid it down this time. Hell yeah. One, of, one out of ten, I laid it down. Makes you feel good, dude. Makes you feel good. Fuck yeah. Uh, so somebody replies to this question. <laughs> Since Bimo has never fucking laughed or had his ears ring. Jesus Christ. I can make your ears ring, dog. Don't worry. <laughs> One of the responses to this question, which I thought was hilarious, was also cried a couple times. <laughs> That's terrible. Like oh, tears of joy or That's tears of sadness. That was my that was my immediate question. I was like, <laughs> happy tears or bad tears? Yeah. Uh, she's like, good cry. It was with my ex husband when I was pregnant. I was extra emotional, and for some reason, the orgasm was a lot more intense. My girl's definitely been there. My girl also had the same thing. I thought something was wrong. I thought she was fucking hurt. And she started crying after sex. It's like, like is this good? Is this bad? Are you okay? Yeah, like, yeah, what's that, going on? That'd be so awkward for a dude. Yeah. Like, how do you react? I mean, you probably dude. wipe her tears. Yeah, you know? yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm a bitch like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me clean up my cum. Yeah. Oh, my God. But could you get these fucking tears out of here? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hey, don't you make fun of me for that shit, dog? That's how you do it. I'll say you do it. I told I you don't that before. Do that. You don't do that. No. I know. Like, I'll you, hand you a towel, but I'm not fucking. Because how do you know when like somebody's cleaned up? You know what I mean? There is a little bit of that. There is a little bit of that. Like uh, she usually she's got to kind of like maybe touch it up afterwards. But I feel like it's respectful. I've actually never thought about it. I've never even thought about it before. It's just like a you, you just do it. I don't know. That's weird. I, I feel don't like know if, somebody, why I do if somebody's like to try to like wipe something off of me, I'd be like, let me fucking see that. Right. Like <laughs> you know why do you do it? I can get it. Like I got yeah. it. Oh, huh, yeah. I don't know why I do Or they're that. like half wipe it. And I'm like, that's just still fucking there. Oh, no, I'm a pro. Give me I, that. I got that shit I'm down. I'm a pro. I got that shit down. Dude. <laughs> you probably fucking I'm, I'm OCD. I'm OCD. So I got that shit like real good. But yeah, I don't know why. That's a really good point you make. Well, I don't know why I do that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Done it like twice. Everybody should do it. But I just kind of like smear it around just to fuck <laughs> with them. 
<laughs> Everybody should learn how to do it and then do it. <laughs> You're taking care of your girl after. I feel like it's respectful. I feel like it's respectful to me. Right. Okay, last topic of the motherfucking night, guys. Hitting on people at the gym, is this okay? 42% said yes, 58% said no. You're not one to work out. Um, but I've heard, I've always heard forever women complain or uh, I don't necessarily know if complain is the right word, but women have always forever talked about the fact that they hate that men hit on them at the gym. That's not the place to do it. You shouldn't do that. It's disrespectful. But I have a different point of view on that. And apparently some other people did as well. My point of view is like, is there an, is there another place that you could be in that is like as primal as the fucking gym? Because you're all kind of like in these tight fitting clothes, like really working yourself. You're sweaty as fuck. Kind of hot, kind of steamy, kind of sexual at the same time. But also for the men, your testosterone is ramped the fuck up. So you're going to get turned on really fucking easy as it is. So you see some chick getting after it in the gym. Like what like you can't fucking help it. Like you're you're probably actually more attracted to her in that moment than you would have been if you seen her outside of the gym. How do you feel about that logic? Do you think that makes sense? Mm. Kind of. I think you're wrong. You think I'm wrong? Yeah. Really? I think it's just like like the whole like testosterone thing kind of like makes sense yeah, or yeah, whatever, yeah. but I think the thing is, is like dudes hitting on chicks at the gym so much or whatever is because there's not a lot of chicks at the gym. There's a shit ton of dudes. Well, so depends. more or less, it's like you're there. Like depends on which gym, uh, what gym you go to, though. I don't know. Well, you're not gonna be a fucking dude going to a fucking primarily f- female gym. Yeah, but that actually does make that. That is a good point, though, because you're like. If you do see somebody bad as fuck in the gym, chances are like you guys both have the same mindset or the same lifestyle, partially. You guys are both in the gym trying to work on yourself. So you're like, oh, maybe my chances are increased. I'm working out. I look good as fuck. So maybe there's a little bit of that. Like, oh, I'm fucking, I look good. She can't turn me down kind of deal. I don't know. But girls don't want that shit, I don't think. I but then they want to be left alone. Like I'm at a gym, yeah. Probably. Like I'm trying to fucking work out. I'm trying to get my fucking work in for the day. Well, it's Leave like getting hit alone. on at fucking like people who like get hit on at work all the time and shit. You know what I mean? Right, like, kind of the same thing. Like waiters and waitresses, bartenders oh, and shit like that. Oh, right, it's like, right. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm doing my job. Oh yeah, it's like kind of the same. Hey, this is thing. hard enough. I don't need to be distracted. Yeah, <laughs> I mean. But then again, they will find a guy that they actually do like or find attractive one day and right. maybe actually fucking like do something about it. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. So it's like the same shit, I think, right. personally. Yeah, I guess it is definitely a personal preference. I've always wondered about this. This question came about because we were working out the other night, me and my girl were working out the other night, and uh, she has this fucking idea in her head now that in order to cool off, she needs to take off her clothes and work out. And she's like, and I was like, that just... Hey, tonight, <laughs> I said it kind. I was not rude about it. I was not rude about it. I tried to come off as nice as I possibly could. Tonight, maybe just put on spandex and a sports bra. Don't work out in sweats or yoga pants. Like, so then you don't got to take off your clothes. Why? You fucking, because you, tur- you get too turned on. You can't handle it. <laughs> I was like, no, it's just not like, it's just not that attractive to me. <laughs> It's just not that attractive to me. Is that wrong of me? Like, it's not that attractive to me. No, I mean, I don't. You're hot. You're sweaty. You're barely fucking making it where I'm killing you because I'm a psychopath. So I'm pushing you really fucking hard. And like, you're like, like you struggling naked. is not that attractive to me. <laughs> is that wrong of me? I don't know. So I was like, fuck, like. I wonder how other people feel about this. I wonder how other people feel about working out around the opposite sex, getting hit on, that that sort of thing. I don't know. That's why I asked this question. I mean, people at the gym are probably fucking way more attracted to people that go to gyms. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Yeah, so That's what I was thinking. they're probably like super fucking into it. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
Let's read some of these replies and move on. So one of the replies was from afar. Uh, the other reply was, I would say yes, but there's a time and a place just like everything. If you take out your phone and start filming, <laughs> Jesus, and start filming me while I squat or something, then you probably aren't going to get the response you want. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking weird. Yeah, I would. I would think so. Yeah. You know she said that because like gotta be more discreet about it, guys. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. You know she said that because that for sure happened at one point. No shit. That's probably insane. Happening all the time. That's fucking insane, it dude. Probably happens a lot. It probably does happen a lot. I actually like see like on Instagram and shit, people like posting shit on their Instagram of like recording somebody who's like recording them at the gym. No shit. I'm, like that's so fucking weird. That is weird as fuck, yeah. dude. What the fuck? If you're a dude and and being recorded, that's gotta feel pretty good though. Even if another dude's recording you, I don't give a shit. I still probably like, what the fuck? I'm probably getting hard for reals. No, you, you're like what? I don't know. That's weird. It, it's weird for me to get hard over it. Well, yeah, and just somebody recording you. Yeah. Oh no, it's super strange. Yeah. But I might get off my, at the same time though. What's that guy gonna do with that later? Hopefully, be off to it because I'm looking good <laughs> as shit. Thank you for thank you for boosting my confidence. <laughs> Thank you for showing me his attention. Uh, so, yes, the re- another reply was yes, but after a workout, not midway through. Makes sense. Definitely makes sense. So, the last reply to this was, I did have a guy once go, you're the chick from the gym yesterday night, or yesterday, right? And I was like, uh, yeah, maybe. And he says, you look way sexy with makeup on. You chose the wrong words. First off, you chose the wrong words. I didn't wear makeup the day before, so I looked down at his dick in his sweatpants and said, oh, you're the small dick dude from yesterday. It looks even smaller with sweatpants on and walked away. You chose the wrong words. You can't, you can't, you chose the wrong fucking words. How are you going to say, oh, you look way better with makeup on? You're the chick from yesterday. Yeah, you look way better with makeup on. What's up? What? Like, what, like, that's a bad opener. I don't know if you... He was trying to compliment her, obviously. Yeah, but that's like the... Oh, yeah, but also to a point, that's like that gym bro, like, mentality. Like, right, exactly, exactly. Buff as fuck, I fuck anybody. Right, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Like, that whole negging thing. Huh? You know about that, right? Negging? Negging. Yeah, it's like... No, you're talking about... You're negatively giving somebody, like a like, a backhanded compliment. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's what they say. You compliment her twice. Or, yeah. To really get a girl, you got to compliment her twice. And uh, fuck, who told me this? Insult her once? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Who told dude. me that? Somebody told me that. You got to com- give her two compliments and insult her once. <laughs> and he's like, who? I can't remember who. Somebody told me this, but they're like, Oh, nice hair, nice sh- nice hair, nice shirt. Your shoes fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. <laughs> I was like, what the, what the fuck? How does that work? But there's always like, there's always been that thing of like pickup artists being like, yeah, you gotta like show her that you don't give a fuck about her. You gotta like shit on her, like make her feel unimportant or like, you know, all those crazy ass things to say that have been said for many, many years. All right, guys, we got... Our sex tip in fact, sex tips and facts with our girl, Nurse Rhea. Hopefully, we don't get a cease and desist for using her content every episode. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it on the DL, guys. This week's men's health tip comes from Nurse Rhea11 on TikTok saying that staring at a woman's breast for 10 minutes a day is better for your health than going to the gym. Send those titty pics. <laughs> Look the at f- that, dude. You can the fucking... F- the first comment. You don't even need to hit on girls at the gym, bro. You could literally get a workout in hitting on them. Yeah. Boom. Be like, hey, this is good for my health. Yeah. This is good for my health. Just do, tear you, your do you not want to be healthy? I come to the gym to be healthy. No, I'm not working out. Just look like I'm working out. I'm trying to see some tits. Stare at some titties. Stare at some titties. Yeah. Stare at some titties. How do you how do you, do you think it's legit? Do you think she's fucking around? She's a nurse. 
supposedly. I don't think that that's something they could even remotely be like proven or like oh, I legitimate. Think it could. I think it could for sure. How? No, they've, Studies. They've, yeah, 100%. they've proven that porn, uh, people watching porn decreases pain by like what, like five or 10%? Not much, but it's, really? it, it's a little bit of a. Yeah, because it gets your mind off the pain. Right, and right. Starts- and it's boosting serotonin levels and targeting like different receptors. Yeah, no, no, no. I think I think I remember reading something like that. You're right. You're right. So I probably, I would assume the same thing applies to so by getting your heart rate going or, or something like that. But there is no fucking way yeah, I'm not that, it's better, that, it, that it's better for you than go to the gym. That's a 100% lie. 100% lie or else the whole world would know about it. Well, no, it's a lie. It's not a lie. But if you do it for like nine minutes, it's not as good. <laughs> so you need to do it for like... No, you have to do it for like, ten minutes. Oh. <laughs> I think it's like ten hours. Like No, it's ten minutes a day. Ten minutes a day. But if it's only like nine, then you're not... You should still got to go to the gym. Imagine if... I, imagine, if <laughs> imagine if I just stop working out altogether, just start staring at tits for ten minutes a day. I come in just... Fucking ripped. Yo. Yeah, but it's not. It's, it doesn't say it's gonna. Hey, staring at titties gains muscle. Hey, what's your guys' issue? For what? You're staring at tits ten minutes a day, easy. Yeah, I'm healthy as fuck. Maybe that's it. Maybe I that's why neither own. of you guys have gotten COVID. I'm not. I didn't say I'm physically fit, but like health, no, but you're healthy. But like health wise, bro. Hey, neither of you guys have gotten COVID, and I have. I've been sick in like thirty years. Is it simply because you're staring at tits 10 minutes or longer a day? Yeah. You asked how we could prove this. We have living proof in front of us. You know why? You are the living proof. I try not to fucking let things get to me, man. I don't stress about shit. You don't stress about shit? No. Nope. I don't believe that. Really? Yeah, I really don't. What do I stress about? I can give you an example. I, I can't give you an example. You can't? No, I can't. But then how the fuck are you going to tell me that I stress about Because shit? I just don't believe it. <laughs> you, you don't? You, you're not a stressed out person? No, not really. Really? No. Hmm. I used to be that way until I got off drugs. <laughs> if I was, if I am stressed out, bro, I fucking <laughs> evade the situation. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, no, I wish that was me. That's I hate shit that puts me in that mind state. Got it. Yeah, my whole life is that. My whole life is that. I'm just stressing and I don't, I don't. Like worry that often, it's like a, it's a constant like stress about things that need to happen or get done or what I want to achieve and where I'm going. Yeah, constant, constant, constant. constant. And if I don't have it in my life at that time, I make it. I make, I make it happen, which will probably kill me at about four years, forty years old. But here we are. You mean forty in four years? What? You say it's gonna kill no. you in four years or forty years old? I know I kind of slurred my words there. <laughs> I said which will probably kill me at about forty years old. Because I don't I'm think st- anybody knew you were thirty six. Because I'm stressed the fuck out all the time. Huh. Relieve us and stress. Send him some titties. Send me some titties so my girl can be like, "What the fuck is going on here?" I wonder if she like feels weird about you always fucking DMing girls. Excuse me. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. The way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, not that, not that much. She understands this business. You know what I mean? Like she, she gets it. She gets it. It's like in the beginning, but it was a little bit of an adjustment for us in the beginning. But yeah, nah, she, it's, it is what it is now. She knows that it's not. They're not DMing me. They're DMing Friday Night Therapy. So it's like, it's fine. Okay. All right. Good thing you're on that phone and not me. Good thing. <laughs> Good thing. We would not get anywhere, dude. I'm like, what happened with your ex-boyfriend? <laughs> so means you're single, right? Don't get me wrong. I still do that because I got to figure out a little bit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Final fucking topic of the night. We did not have a strange kink for this episode, but we had a potentially could be strange kink if you ever found a man with this procedure this procedure is called genetic uh, genetic Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with me <laughs> i was thinking about something else in my head genital beating beating as in beads not beating <laughs> genital beating because when i heard this i thought it i thought it said beating like beating the fuck out of the dick no 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 beating as in beads like friendship beaded bracelets 
Genital beating or often referred to as purling involves inserting small beads made of various materials beneath the skin of the shaft or foreskin of the penis. This bending, this beating is usually intended to enhance the sexual pleasure of partners during vaginal or anal intercourse. The practice is said to have originated with the Yakuza in Japan who inserted pearls under the skin while in prison. But so this is like the weird ass people who do like all the like body mods and shit. Yeah. They got like yeah. the little horns and shit. Yeah, exactly. 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 I met a dude once a while ago. He had anchors in his head. He had, he had them surgically placed in his, in his forehead. He had big ass anchors. I don't know. I don't know. He also hung himself uh, on on by hooks on his back and shit on his chest, and he would hang there. He had the the world record for like fucking something like crazy twelve hours, thirteen hours or something, like a wild, ridiculous amount of time in New York Square. Huh. The more you know. Uh, how do you feel about this? Is this is fucking weird? It's it's fucking weird. <laughs> it is it is weird. There is no doubt about that. Trev, scroll all the way down to the bottom for me if you could. I just want to want to like. Do it to oh, my Look day. at that, what dude. The fuck? So, like, what do you do? What do you do when you? So, okay, the story behind this. How do you tell somebody okay. that that is in your dick? And how do you tell somebody that's not general? Exactly. Warts? That's what I'm saying. But what it's but fuck? it's on it's internal and not external. So I feel like you and be like, hey, feel it. You know, like like I'm being legit with you. Let me look it up for you. I'll show you. It's so like I guess you could do that because obviously you're gonna have some questions. Be like, hey, oh, no, yeah. like this isn't weird. This is for you. Literally, this is for you and only you. I got this. This procedure costs something like twenty thousand fucking dollars. Dude, what the fuck for this goddamn procedure? And it's literally centered around pleasuring your partner, male or female. I mean, they would definitely, for sure, love it if they could get past right. like the what the, the fuck weird did you just say is it. wrong with your dick? It's the weird look of it for me because I have I'm weird about that kind of shit. Very weird about that kind of shit. So it's like, I don't know. I think it'd be like be pretty easy to get used to i guess but if it's done properly if there's only like a cup a couple on the top and it's all symmetrical and it looks right and it's all random i could probably be okay with that the i random, think i'd be fine with ra- that yeah the random would just the it's, random it's would fuck me, me anxiety up. just thinking exactly about it exactly if it was done very strategically and symmetrically i'd be uh, yeah it'd be fine i think but like Okay, weird question that just popped into my head. Do these people doing the surgeon surgery like know where to put these beads at? Like they're like, oh, if we put this one right here, she's gonna get off in like thirty seconds. Uh, I'm sure there's some a or bit of science just- to it. For sure, there's a bit of science to it because, like, obviously they have a very good understanding of the vagina, so they know like the pleasure points and shit like that. Of course, so I'm sure. Th- for somewhat, there's a little bit of strategy to it's gotta it. Be, yeah. I got to assume. Could you ever get this done, Bimo? Fuck, uh, probably not, dude. I don't know. It's just like I don't know. Probably not. I want to say yes. I want to say I could, but at the same time, I would feel really weird about it. I would feel really weird about it that the fact that I got these, like I could, but also like why I wouldn't want to? I guess yeah, like like. Like, like if you're not getting pleasure from my dick, like they make things that do this to my dick that are removable. Yeah, let's just get a sleeve. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> we looked at that last week. Like this has got to be a. Uh... Now, are you able to attract more women by this? The world's the world's gonna get out. Oh, no, that's what I was saying. Sure. Like that's why I said like curiosity always killed me. Yeah. Exactly. That's and what, yeah. what a what an icebreaker at the bar. I got pearls inserted in my cock. Do you want to try it? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you could get past like the weird like first initial whatever, I right. say they probably like it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. It just depends. I mean, if you're there for pleasure, if you're there more for pleasure, then yeah, they'll probably enjoy it. I guess because I mean that's what it's there for. So this dude's a fucking real one. Yeah. This dude's running shit. Obviously, but the dudes that get the stunt. So apparently, the story behind this was. A girl went to go sleep with the coach of a world-renowned soccer team. And they go home. They're about to have sex. He pulls down his pants, whatever, to get into it. And she's like, what the fuck is that? 
Her first thought was like something fucking fucked up on his dick, STD, whatever. He had to explain to her, give her the whole rundown, which he should have done before, of course. But what he had also said was like it's super popular among amongst athletes and famous people, actors, shit like that. In one of the uh, one of the examples that he gave was LeBron James. There is no way LeBron James has this done. I don't believe it. Hmm. I don't know anything about sports or who LeBron James really is. He just doesn't seem like that kind of person. Not really. Not really. LeBron James pulled his dick out on TV once. Did he? Yeah. Was it big? I don't know. Oh, dude, it had him in huge. It's probably a quick little flash. It had him in huge. Huge. I'm probably gonna look into the procedure. No, you're not. Would you make would you make me show you? No. If I looked in, if I if I did end up getting the procedure. Would I make you show me? Yeah, would you be like, I have to see this? I probably wouldn't want to see. Oh really? Yeah. Oh dude, I I would I would ask to see it before you even got over here. I'd be like, you gotta send me a picture right now. <laughs> right now. I could care less. To see your dick with really, in it. yeah, that's crazy, dude. Why? I would want to see it. I would need to see it. I would have to see it. Hmm. <laughs> I think you just want to see dicks. <gasps> There's so you keep pulling them up. Very <laughs> small percentage of that. <laughs> All right, boys. Small fucker, dude. All right, boys. It's pretty cheap though. For piercing. Yeah. This is a piercing though. So it's a fifty dollar, fifty dollar uh, service fee. This and is, then a, this, the is pier- this is a piercing though, Trev. Oh, is it? Yeah, this what? is piercing. No, I told you the oh, procedure. Pi- pierc- the procedure ah, is sixteen gotcha. sixteen thousand dollars for the procedure. You get like four little beads in your fucking pecker, dude. You gotta go to Philadelphia for this. Philadelphia or Baltimore? Those are the only two. Uh... Bro, you gotta go to Mexico for this. Who are we kidding? <laughs> no, look at this downtown Philadelphia, right here. You just walk in. Yeah, but you go to Mexico and you get it for like a thousand bucks. All righty, y'all. This has been another week of Epic T, episode seventy-eight. We're closing on number eighty, dog. Closing on number eighty. We're about to reach our hundredth episode before we know it. I remember twenty weeks is soon. June. June. Oh, Damn, boys, we getting there. Hmm, we getting there. Alrighty, boys. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's get the fuck out of here. Go get your clap cleats. Clapcleats.com. We love you, motherfuckers. We out this bitch. Deuce.